Now let us see what are this asteroid. So we spoke about sun, we know about planets now, we know about our earth, we know about moon. Let us come to the method part that is asteroids. What are asteroids? Are you very much surprised about that? We have seen it. Yes, you have seen it many a times. Now, what is this asteroid belt? What are they? You know, there are many theories how uh, these planets have created. One of them is a Big Bang theory. That uh, it is, we, uh, it is not yet, we cannot say that this is the thing, how it happened. But maybe this is the way it happened. That when a very huge and big stars, much bigger than sun, it was passing next to the sun that time due to the gravitational pull of that star a part of sun came out and for as a result the part of sun came out as planets as the satellites as asteroids and meteoroids so they all form actually the entire solar system they this star apart from this star they are very tiny Apart from this star, other the planets and satellites, these asteroids are the very tiny bodies. Even some uh, geologists they claim that uh, these uh, asteroids they are nothing but the parts of planets, broken parts of the planets. <clears throat> they are they also move around the sun at the same time as all these planets they are orbiting the sun the same way. Even the asteroids they are also orbiting the sun the largest we have i told what i told you we have a asteroid belt we call it as asteroid belt between mars and jupiter that is actually we can say the dividing line between inner planet and outer planet so these asteroids they may they are accumulated in this belt they are small in size not like the planets much smaller in size but they are the broken parts of the planets these asteroids are revolving around the sun as the planets the largest one of the asteroid till now whatever we got information its name is cyrus scientists are of the view of the asteroids are parts of the planet and many they maybe they created many years back some parts of these planets they came out and they make this belt. Next we are coming to meteoroids. They are smaller than the asteroids also. And if I say that many a times you have seen them, will you believe me? Yes you have. You remember of the shooting star? Your uh, Maybe your grandma sometimes told you that close your eyes and pray to the shooting star. Your wish will be fulfilled. They are nothing but the meteoroids. Meteoroids are the small rocks, those who are moving in the solar system. Even the time when they are coming nearby any of the planet, you know that even these planets, they have their gravitational pull. So due to the gravitational pull of the planets, these meteoroids, they are coming in our sky. And whenever in the earth they are coming, what happened? We have oxygen. And oxygen has a feature that help anything to burn. So whenever they are entering in earth, this oxygen is preventing them to enter. And the moment they caught fire and we see that some star is coming down. We call it a shooting star. We see it is burning and it is coming down. The white is broad band in the night sky. If sometimes it, it is a new moon night, you observe with the telescope, you will see a broad strand like the, well, it is actually formed by millions of st uh, stars, you know. And these we know as Milky Way galaxy. This Milky Way galaxy, we, the solar system is a part of this Milky Way galaxy. You will not believe in our universe there are millions of galaxies we don't know even we have no idea how many exactly what is the number how many galaxies are there we are just a tiny particle if we see if we consider us in this way 
so solar system is nothing but a very small is tiniest part of this milky way galaxy many stars many millions of stars they form this galaxy our galaxy's name is milky way in ancient history we have given a name from india for our own galaxy and we named it as akash ganga you know the river ganga as the river ganga is flowing it is imagined in that way all the stars are flowing in the sky akash means the sky in the sky so it is named as akash ganga we are a part of milky way or akash ganga galaxy it is a so what is a galaxy once more galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and planets and their system our sun has only seven, nine eight planets we have seen right some of the planet stars maybe they have many more and these all together made a huge galaxy our own galaxy is the milky way galaxy now let us uh, pick up with few question quick question that how much you understood the chapter how a planet is different from a star a planet has no light it revolves around a star what is the example of a star star is the sun sun has its own heat own uh, all the stars they have their own heat their own light planets have no heat and light they borrow it from the star right so this is the major and main difference between planet and star stars are huge in size not the planets they may be they are the part of some of the stars so next we are coming if i ask you what is solar system quick repetition solar system is the head of the family is sun and under sun we have eight planets previously it was nine now we have eight planets asteroids and meteoroids what are the name of those planets planets are of two types inner planet and outer planet inner planets are rocky outer planets are gaseous inner planets the name of the inner planets are mercury venus earth and mars outer planets are jupiter saturn uranus and neptune in our planets they don't have their belt but the outer planet most of the outer planets they have their own rings is it clear and now this planets they have their satellites okay some of the planets big planets they have their satellites next i hope you know all the names of the planets let us see according to the order that is mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune this is the order from sun from the distance if we consider the distance from sun this is the this is the order next is why earth is a unique planet why can we say that yes earth is a unique planet yes definitely it is unique unique isn't it this is the only planet till now where proved we have life it is the only planet which has oxygen and which has water you know even earth is known as blue planet can you tell me why earth is known as a blue planet the reason is earth is the only planet which has many water bodies two third of earth from the uh, universe if you observe earth you will see two third of the earth that is covered with water due to that we can see it as blue so the earth is known as blue planet why we can see only one side of the moon because the rotation time and revolution time of moon is same it is 27 days there's a reason we can see only one part one side of the moon this is your first chapter the earth and the solar system